Welcome to another edition of Trading Places, where we discuss the hottest free agency and trade rumors around sports. And uh, let's take a look at what we got right now. We got sure. Interesting rumor from Sports Illustrated right now. Apparently, uh, the Cowboys may be uh, yeah. moving up to get Don Johnny Cowboys, Manziel. Cowboys, rumors talking about Cowboys trying to get Johnny Manziel, um, which would be so like the Cowboys and so <laughs> not the smart move. <laughs> um, how do you feel about Tony Romo? Right. Are you, do you really want to replace him with a rookie? Well, I have seen some pretty frustrating seasons from, uh, from Tony Romo. If I was a Cowboys yeah. fan, I might be tempted some, to get some kind of change, any kind of change. But uh, taking nothing away from Romo's stats, uh, I've seen, I read the Sports Illustrated article this week and they, from, the, from a panel of experts, and they were really pretty high on this kid, Johnny Manziel. They haven't talked about a kid this high since Brett Favre. Well, here's my thing about Johnny Manziel. He's not even the best quarterback rated in the draft. So you're not even, it's not like you're upgrading to get the best guy on the draft. You're getting a guy that's going to sell jerseys at the end of the day. And don't get me wrong, I love Johnny Manziel. I love Johnny Football. I love the persona, you know, of Johnny Football. I love his game at college. And I think it'll translate okay under the right conditions in the pros. Mm -hmm. it, it, it just feels like clickbaiting and just Jerry Jones trying to, you know, turn a dollar out of 15 cents. Oh, uh, you gotta I, do what's best for business sometimes, right? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> but still, you know, it doesn't make sense. Why put Romo in that situation if he's not your quarterback of the future for what you're paying for him? Simple as that. It just makes no sense to me. All right, moving on from the gridiron to the hardwood, we had a very interesting rumor over the weekend during the NBA playoffs where uh, speculation of Carmelo Anthony heading over to the Chicago Bulls uh, was heating up a lot, especially when Chicago was being eliminated by, by Washington. Yeah, there was, there was a lot of... Uh, Twitter, Twitterism, for lack of a better <laughs> word. Uh, you know, Carmelo, please come to Chicago. Carmelo, please come to Houston. I um, remember very well the mellow drama with New York and all that, so I'm uh, <laughs> sympathize with Chicago on that. Um, and, and even with New York fans, you're seeing that please stay. You know, <laughs> you're seeing mellow stay hashtag. Mm -hmm. Even with LeBron being out in the free agency market, everyone's fascinated with what's going to happen with Melo. I mean, he looks like a good fit in, on paper with Chicago. He looks like a good fit in Houston. You know, obviously New York, you know, he's had some success here, some not so great success here. So, but it's still an option. So, it is. Um, and right now, I mean, anything can happen right now with uh, so close to the summertime. Whether Melo not say, stays in New York, I'm personally hoping as a Knicks fan that he does stay, although he is kind of taking a big gamble. He's with Chicago, adding him into a team with Joe Kim Noah and Derrick Rose, you're talking a potential NBA title contender. And there's also there's also no taxes in Houston, so that's if I'm making that <laughs> kind of money, that's something I have to consider, and I'll be playing with Dwight Howard and James Harden. So that's very true. And that wraps up this edition of Trading Places. Remember to tune in next week for more and to continue the conversation. Remember to log on to LatinPost.com.